On August 28th, 2023, Anime Dimensions updated and added a new dimension into the game! Woo! Yeah, baby! Along with this new dimension, there was a new gem character that was added as a drop for the previously mentioned dimension. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> it's Speedo Sonic Sound, who I'm gonna call Sonic from here on out for simplicity's sake. Also, real quick, here's a shout out to my members. Thank you, boys. Sonic is a side antagonist from the anime One Punch Man and is the first ever permanent 2500 gem character. He's obtainable as a drop from the new alien dimension with a 0.5% drop rate. Here's a note for you. Since Sonic is a droppable character from the alien dimension, I I'd highly recommend trying to drop him before buying him from the shop since nothing can beat free. If you've run the dimension a bunch of times, and we're talking more than like an hour's worth of runs, then it's completely understandable to buy him then. But I'd recommend that you keep trying since you also have a chance at dropping mythical cards from this dimension, which can make you stronger. But anyways, his abilities are frontal attack, blade kick, carnage, And Foreshadow Burial, with Foreshadow Burial being his assist move. Sonic has two side attributes on two of his moves. His second ability grants him a speed boost on activation, and his ultimate gives the ultimate ability a 100% crit chance, meaning every tick of damage dealt with it will be a critical hit. This attribute also works on his assist, by the way, and that's important for later. Foreshadowing! Okay, so let's answer the two questions that you have. Is he good, and is he worth using? His ultimate makes him a decent choice for boss raids, but this character is clearly a dimension main, since he has a dash and multiple moves that allow you to move while using them. So to help us answer this question, we're gonna compare him to another dimension main, specifically Ichigo Final. I know, I know, interesting choice. To compare them, I ran the Devil Dimension five times with Sonic and Ichigo. All of the runs had me include the exact same team, exact same traits, exact same pets, basically Basically everything was the exact same except for the mains. The average time I had for Ichigo Final was a minute 47. Sonic on the other hand had an average of 2 minutes and 2 seconds. Yeah, okay, this was an unfair comparison, but it was closer than I thought it would have been, so hey, that's not bad for Sonic's case. So he's not better than characters like Sung Jin Woo or Ichigo, but for a gem character, he's really good. Also, if you're enjoying the video, then make sure to not only like it, but also subscribe for more. All right, let's continue. Whether or not he's worth using is entirely up to who your main is. If you're rocking someone like Sung Jin Woo or Ichigo Final, then sleep on him. He will be a downgrade for you. However, if you're using someone like Misaka, Yu-Gi-Oh, or even Ryuko, bet you haven't heard that name in a hot minute, then he might even be worth using over them. Sonic has some great crowd control moves and a speed boost that allows him to take out enemies faster than a lot of other gem characters, and his ultimate allows you to take out bosses and other super tankier enemies easily. So if you're using some weaker gem characters, then use him. On the topic of weaker gem characters as well, by the ways, this guy is the best gem character assist for boss modes. That 100% critical chance side attribute works on his assist move, as we talked about earlier, which can do a lot of damage to bosses if your stats are good. So to summarize, if you're using gem characters like Misaka as your dimension main, then use him. He's really good for dimensions, but you can also use him as an assist for boss modes since he's the best gem assist assist. By the way, if you want to learn about some more really good gem characters, then make sure to click on this video right here. It'll be valuable to you if you're starting out, so go watch it. Dismissed!